Um, so this is probably going to be part of a series of small wars now to take back the uh, the little territories here and there that have uh, been... I don't know how they became independent without my knowing. But then again, I don't know how the Reach got control of those places near King's Landing and whatnot. You know, it's stuff, stuff, stuff like this just happens and I... I, well, to be honest, I may get notifications and just, like, speed click through them. Um, hmm. Apparently there's a there's a wall for uh, for Golden Grove. Um, slightly co uh, concerningly, it's like a High Lady of Case that I think they're trying to claim it for. Um, you know, I don't want any one of my vassals to have too many High Lordships. That's been a pretty consistent theme throughout this generally keep uh, make sure that no one or two or even three vassals has the uh, capacity to overthrow you oh uh, yeah I think we'll be at night I always get compliments for my fair skin my s silken hair I was gonna say silken eyes <laughs> that's a bit disturbing really it's kind of a bit of a Lovecraftian thing to suggest, but, um, yeah. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so I don't even have the choice to believe that somebody's uh, trying to, well, commit treason. It's at the same time an easy and difficult place to defend Blackman, I suppose. I mean, seeing as they're meeting us in the field, it's obviously a difficult place to defend because they can't escape. They are stuck there. Um, but you'll, you know, I'm guessing that in you know, sort of story storyland that they have kind of the whole narrow pass thing. In fact, the prince's pass is uh, notoriously difficult to capture. Looks like the Riverlands is. There's some kind of fight with the Riverlands, um, so we're up for that. <laughs> it looks like that sigil is a bat, which I think was house... Was it Lothston or Went that had that sigil? Either way, that house doesn't exist anymore in the uh, modern, I guess, Song of Ice and Fire universe, but uh, it looks similar. Well, that battle's only going to end one way. It's 89% war score. Luckily, we don't have to besiege anywhere to gain control of Blackman. This should seal it, and indeed it does. 100% war score. Good. Blackman's mine again. Oh! Well, I mean, we could claim Blueburn, but it only lasts as long as her rebellion will, and typically they don't last very long. Oh. So Alaric was trying to get the High Septon to free him, and we immediately killed him. Okay, I mean, I didn't have any part to play in that, really, but... I don't know how he would sneak a letter. Uh, I guess he would have to know someone to sneak a letter out. So we have a fair few claims that we could possibly press, although a lot of them seem to have different people as their liege, you know, kind of people that we wouldn't want to get into a massive war with already. Um, we could claim Castamere. Ooh, this one seems independent. Is he? Yes, Kenos of the Golden Tooth is independent. I was kind of wondering about this because this territory did seem to just be completely um, independent for no reason, really. Um, so I guess we're going to claim a small chunk of it back. I, I don't know. I mean, the whole High Lordship of the Golden Tooth is a bit... Well, it obviously includes more than the Golden Tooth now. It's got the coast below Lannisport as well. So the Regency has ended. We can choose our um, ambition. Winning the war probably seems like a good idea because these are very winnable wars and it gives us one marshal. Um, I don't know if that's permanent, but that's incredible if it is, because Stannis Jr. already has a very impressive martial score. Um, hmm. Yeah, they seem to have quite a lot of troops, uh, so 
that should probably cover it now. Oh. It seems I've been excommunicated. Wonderful. Let's... I mean, I've almost got 100 piety again, and uh, we, can, we can play this game all day if you want to. Oh, I only need 50. For some reason I thought I needed 100, but no, I can afford the next one too, so... Screw you, queen um, thingamajig. Some good leadership there. I'm very happy that I don't get to pick my own my own captains there. I would also have chosen no character, no character, character with two marshal. Um, maybe I would have had character with two marshal in the center, but you know, it's. I mean, I'm sure the AI knows better than me how to how to command these troops. Oh, so there's some golden tooth troops in the Riddlelands actually, which is uh, well, fine. Um, mm, troops dying of attrition. That'll be alright. Uh, no, yeah, they're fine. For a second, I thought uh, that shitloads of them had died, but uh, but no, it's just uh, it was just it's just the troops that were separating off in order for for no one to starve to death, or at least you know as few as possible. Oh shit, what have I marched them into? Oh yeah, that's they need six thousand fewer troops. <laughs> um, so random ass courtier with no titles whatsoever decides he wants to. He's no, he's not even as good as my master of arms. Uh, I already have, so no, you you will not you will not be my ma 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 master of arms. Yeah, I think so. He seems like an interesting figure though, and he might be someone quite useful to give like a remotely decent title to. I was gonna see if I could marry him off to someone, but I don't know. I don't have many young uh, courtiers who I can marry off to him. Oh, and I don't have any spare titles actually. Oh, um, no. No, there's nothing I want to give him. Okay, so yeah, I've already lost troops due to attrition in Hornvale. That was uh, poor planning, really. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, sure. I mean, he's the he is the uh, king consort, I guess. So yeah, I can't really refuse his request. To... I mean, not that it matters, because obviously the queen hates me anyway and keeps trying to have me excommunicated. Um, Ronald of Golden Grove wants my help. Um, which is interesting because he kind of hates me and is also kind of a pretender to the, uh, to, well, everything really. And the thing is, I'm not sure if I'd be awfully upset if he did lose that war. Um... being fought for the Lady of Case. Um, she does obviously already have a high ladyship, um, and then Golden Grove on top of that will be giving her a reasonable amount of territory, but her house is not very prestigious and she's not got any entitlement to the uh, to any of the Lord Paramountcies. Her heir is still one of my vassals, so if she won it then yeah, I'm not especially fussed as to uh, as to what happens in that war. Now, because I've had to move my troops out of that territory to stop them, you know, starving to death, it is marginally possible that I might be at a disadvantage here, but we'll try not to. Oh, terrific! Emma Sand's pregnant. Uh, is is that uh, that's that's pretty speedy work there. By, by Stannis, 16 years old. Must be a family man. Now interestingly the Golden Truth troops have not moved in immediately to uh, to reinforce their 
allies? I don't know if they actually are allies, they just both are at war with me. It could be unrelated, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, I want that one to stand down. It's probably worth investigating these things on their own merit rather than just saying nobody goes to war with each other, because sometimes it might result in power being redistributed so that uh, I don't have such ambitious vassals. Or powerful vassals, I guess. Hmm. So we're going to have to take a roundabout route to uh, to those troops in the Pendrick Hills, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to surround them, given that they haven't moved to reinforce the Pendrick Hills troops that we're fighting in uh, somewhere else in the Golden Tooth. I'm not sure where that is, but we've won that battle in any case. Uh, oh dear, Stannis is ill. Oh wow. So, Hort <laughs> uh, so Horton's kind of... Well, he's the blind leading the sighted, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if he makes for the best commander, to be honest. No offense. Um, mm, looks like those troops in Pendrick Hills kind of have sensed what's up and will be gang trying to get shot of the place. The annoying thing is that they can obviously uh, travel through some territories that don't have very high troop support numbers. Whereas my 19,000 troops will suffer horribly if I do that, and I probably don't want to... I mean, it is a single territory that we're giving to a vassal, so I don't want to massively deplete my troop counts uh, doing this. Well, looks like uh, Ronald's lost Golden Grove to the Lady of Case. Um, potential marriage prospect for, you know, uh, children down the line, just to keep them in check. Um, interestingly, they seem to be heading right for our 19,000 troops there. Um, the Riverlander War is also over, that was the thing that popped up. A uh, few things happening at once. Oh, she actually doesn't seem to have Golden Grove. I thought she'd won because she'd imprisoned them and released him, but the war is actually still ongoing. Oh, he seems... I mean, yeah. So they, they're still heading towards our troops there. I feel like they might have a river disadvantage as well. Is it just because the Golden Tooth can't muster any more troops, so they uh, are just pretty much just going for it? No, they've immediately changed their minds and thought better of it. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't say I blame them. It did seem too good to be true that they would cross a river to fight a larger force. 